Okay, today we're going to look at the Pennzoil PZ167. A viewer wants me to open it up because he says it's comparable to the Performax 167 that they use at his dealership for his Dodge Journey. So let's get started. Okay, and we'll look at the box. We got here 2012 Sopus Products, Houston, Texas. Let's see what's inside. Okay, it says PZ167. Made in USA. Got six, seven inlet holes, elongated holes. Probably made by Pure later. I see a bypass valve down below. For the metal inner core and louvers. And let's see this O ring gasket. It's on there pretty good. And not bad. Love this yellow filter. This really stands out. Let me give you some instructions. <laughs> I think this is a date code probably right here. F10J10B2. Let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's get her weight. 8.5 ounces. Let's check out the base plate. 3.9 ounces. And I like the base plate. I like these uh, elong elongated holes. I think you get a better oil flow that way. Yeah, it feels like a good base plate. The uh, O-ring gasket's on here pretty good too. Got these little indentations. So it stays on pretty good. Yeah, this part's fine. Okay, rubber anti drain back valve. I'm pretty sure this is rubber. Feels like rubber. And it says uh Parker on it right there. I've seen that on a on other oil filters, I just don't remember where. But yeah, this this uh, this all seems okay. It's just that it's rubber. You filter media. I counted 59 pleats. You got a glued seam right here. They seem pretty evenly spaced, except they got a little sloppy with the glue, right here and here. A little bit of over here. Here's your bypass valve. Which I don't know the setting on it. I don't know anything about this filter, really. I couldn't look it up anywhere. Um, I'm assuming that it's a purelator. Purelator made. And it's probably got, you know, purelator numbers for it. So, I don't know. And it can. Well, first your stamp leaf spring. This one's got a hole in it because of the bypass valve on the bottom, but. It's a typical leaf spring here. And let's get the can width here. Can thickness. 0.3. Yeah, it's about normal. It's usually what they go for. Let's get the width of this guy. 2.02 .02 inches wide. 2.62 inches and 2.4 inches a 
Yeah, I see the louvers in there. And you can see the bypass valve down the spring. You know, I say we cut this baby apart and see how long she is. Okay, here she is laid out. And she's 48 inches long. Four feet. Okay, so here's your seam. And I was looking on Amazon. Um, I found some filtration numbers. I, I don't know. If, you know, you can take this with a grain of salt. But it said 97% at 20 or above microns. So, I don't know. If that's what they were saying. People that were selling these oil filters. And, let's see. Well, this came apart when I was cutting it open. You got your nice bypass valve here. See how this opens up. That's how that works. Um, overall, it's a nice filter. You know, it's got the rubber anti drain back valve. About the two worst things on it are these these things here, the leaf springs and this. So I wouldn't. I consider it a five thousand mile filter. Nice base plate. I like the holes. You know, everything else is fine. So if you're doing 5,000 mile oil change intervals, um, I would have no problem using this filter. I wouldn't really want to go too much beyond that. Okay, that's about it for this filter. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So please hit that like button. It's free, and it makes you feel good. Take care.